Hey everyone, my name is Kevin, and today we will be teaching you how to play MetaZoo card game via Tabletop Simulator. Now, this is going to be a for dummies kind of guide, so if you don't know what Tabletop Simulator is, um, I'm going to explain it to you pretty briefly and talk about how to use it for MetaZoo. So, if you don't know what Tabletop Simulator is, it is a game where you can play board games and card games simulated on a board. It is a game via Steam. You can buy it. It costs about 20 bucks, but it is well worth the price. I have about 170 hours, something on this game, and a lot of board gamers tend to use it and play it every single day, especially during the pandemic. So it's well worth the game. I highly recommend it. And even if you don't play MetaZoo on it, you can use it for chess, checkers, or party games. Or even like other board games like Arkham Horror, uh, Ticket to Ride, or just stuff like that. So, a fantastic app. Please get it. You will need a computer that is not a complete potato to run it. So, if your computer is like a laptop or something that's not too gaming friendly, you may struggle a little bit with it, but you don't need to have a super great computer. Just understand that the game does have some pretty decent physics. As you can see in this little intro video. And yeah, so just keep that in mind. Alright, so that's Tabletop Simulator in a nutshell. But one of the best parts of Tabletop Simulator is the fact that people can make their own kind of games. There is what's called the Steam Workshop, and people can make imported maps for games. So someone was kind enough, um, and, that, and that someone is Tiresome Lime. Which you, should, which you should thank on Discord and just thank in general. But Tiresome Lime made a workshop map for MetaZoo. And they imported um, all the base set cards into the workshop map. So now all of us can play MetaZoo without having the cards. All we need is Tabletop Simulator and we can play MetaZoo as is. That's really awesome since a lot of product is currently down because of high demand and high prices. The MetaZoo is very playable online if you just have Tabletop Simulator. Okay, so how exactly do you get the workshop map? Very simple. You just go to this link here. You can either copy the URL by typing it in manually, or you can just go to the go to the description. I'll have the link down below. And just uh yeah, click this link. You should be on it. And then or alternatively, you can just search up MetaZoo deck testing table. And just click the green subscribe button. Once you've done that, you will have the workshop map in your Steam profile. Now keep in mind, again, you do have to be logged into a Steam profile. And you can find this map either, either through your web browser, like I am here. Or you could go to your Steam account and find it by searching it up via community and workshop. Either or works. Just have your Steam account logged in. And you can subscribe to this map. Okay, so once you've been subscribed to this map, you can go to Tabletop Simulator. Again, the game costs 20 bucks, but I believe there's a bundle where you can get it for 60 bucks for four people. So if you want, if you want to play MetaZoo with your family uh, virtually or play with some friends, you could buy a four pack, get a discount. And again, I'm not sponsored by them. I'm just supporting the game because it's an amazing game as it is. I have 28 friends who own it. Uh, as is. There are discounts available though pretty frequently. This game goes on sale during winter sales and um, Christmas, you know, Christmas sales and all that kind of sales. So if you do want to wait for a sale, um, you could try waiting for it. It'll be at half price. But either way, if you want to pay Metazoo right now, the 20 bucks is definitely worth it, in my opinion. Alright, so once you have the game installed, you will have be in this menu and there is uh, a tutorial you can play if you click that light bulb button. So Tabletop Simulator is actually pretty intuitive. It's fairly easy to use, especially if you play video games. I haven't played video games. It's not that hard to use. It takes about five minutes to learn the game via the tutorial. You can just follow the tutorial here. It's very simple commands overall. Learn the game. So yeah, I highly recommend playing the, the tutorial when you get it. Uh, I see that most people don't play the tutorial at first, even though 
it's not that hard to learn the game. <laughs> so definitely just click this little light bulb to learn the game via the, the uh, tutorial. Okay, so once you have, you know, once you know how to play, how to play using Tabletop Simulator, let's talk about actually uh, playing the game now. So we click the subscribe button on the workshop map via Steam in the browser or via our Steam link. So we can either make a single player game, a multiplayer game. Uh, let's make a multiplayer game for now. We'll have a server name, Majora join here. I was playing with Majora's Mirage earlier, shout out to him. But um, why not keep that name? You can make your server type private or public. Uh, let's have it be uh, friends only. And by invite, sure. Um, so that'll be how it is. Make a password if you want. Nice. Uh, and we can make you know, we can make it max two players or so. Just keep it between us. Do that. All right. Okay. So once you've made a a, a server, um, for ETS, it will be in the screen for games. Now, if you've done everything correctly so far and you've hit that subscribe button on the browser or your Steam uh, profile, you have the Steam app. You'll have this app called MetaZoo Deck Testing. A table so we will click that now it'll be in a workshop section here so just go to this workshop section and click this metazoo deck testing table let's click that click load what it will do is it will basically load this map in so it may take a minute or two because uh, tts is constructing all these cards if this is the first time you've loaded the map it may take a minute or two and depending on your computer how good it is it may take longer or so. Now it says this tablet wants to open URL. You can say yes. Uh, click, do click don't ask again. The reason for that is that the MetaZoo rules are actually in this tablet here. So you don't, you don't have to go back and forth all tabbing. You can just go see the rules. That's pretty optional though. But yeah. All right. So once this map is locked in, you have the map here. You got a two player solder uh, map. Um, hey, map. You got a classic. Uh, two playmats for each person. Got a life point counter. Got your cards here. Note again, tiresome lime. Shout out to him. This uh, or her. This is a pretty amazing map. So please. And they're they're always working on this map more or less. So ping them if you have anything to say. So I'll give you a quick little rundown of how to kind of use this app. Um, how to use the workshop. So a couple of things here. Starting off these playmats. Uh, tips and tricks, right? So first of all, you can increase the size of these playmats if you want to, make them bigger or smaller. I kind of like it this size, but maybe you can increase it a little bit. Just right-click it, hit scale, and click up a little bit like that. Your preference. If you don't want this to move around, because you can, you know, click a card here and there, and um, it will, like, sometimes you'll click the, sometimes you'll click the playmat. Or and at the card, so it'll be hard to manipulate. You can just click this, press toggles, hit lock, and now you can't move this around. So right click, toggles, lock, and you can unlock this, move it around. That helps a little bit. These life point counters, I'll do the same thing. I'll just right click, toggle lock, and I can't move this around. It'll just stay where it is. Because sometimes you'll misclick and move it accidentally. You don't want that. Same thing with the play mats, we'll just toggle, lock it. Alright. Life point counter, so you could press this little button here, or you just could you could just press this little text button and type in a number. So I'll type in a thousand. So once you click this indicator here, just click this little uh you know text bar for the number, just left click it, and you can type in numbers. Backspace, I'm gonna backspace there. So I, I you know I'm pressing four ones here and backspacing four times. So yeah, just type in numbers normally because MetaZoo does play with a thousand life points, so you will need a thousand in the beginning. And if you take 50 points of damage, just backspace four times and press, you know, and uh, press 950 for 950, right? That's cool. Okay, so the cards here. Uh, currently in the workshop, there are two solder decks. There's the dark one and the frost one. So feel free to play with those. It's cool. But here are the actual cards. So uh, the cards are here. And they're all divided by mostly by aura type. That's nice. Uh, cosmic aura. So 
Uh, if you don't know TTS again, you can right click these cards and instead of manually moving cards off or on, you can just press the search here and search cards. So the best the best button to use for this workshop map, in my opinion, is Alt. You are, if you are on Windows, just press Alt on the card. You can, you can see it bigger. And you can scroll in with your mouse wheel to just make it look bigger normally. So I could Alt here, scroll it in, and I can see it pretty well. Pretty decent quality. Left to read. So that's good. So I'm going to search this. So let's say I want to get Breast on Nightcrawlers. I just find the card, take it out, done. All I got to do. Okay. So there's only one of each card in these uh, deck piles. So you, what you have to do is if you want a deck build, let's say I want to get two Nightcrawlers, I would search it in the deck. I would take out this Nightcrawler here. Now I just control C. I can do right click copy. I can control V or just uh, paste it as this. Press the clone button. Ooh, that's not what I want. <laughs> well, yeah, so just yeah, just, just uh, copy this. And or I could just click oh I could just just I could just uh, click clone. Be fine. That all I gotta do. And I put this card back in. And I'll just uh, copy it again. Same thing with Black Hole Shard, just, you know, just uh, copy that card. I take it out, copy it, Control V, or hit the clone button, that's all you gotta do. Very easy. Alright, now if you ever mess up in TTS, you can just Control Z, that's Control Z, and just uh, rewind time, good degree. Press it a couple times and it will re rewind. As so, yeah. So, Cosmic Aura, uh, Neutral Aura here, Water Aura, Light Aura, Forest Spirit, whatever. Uh, leave is a promos here. Promos? Yeah, Holiday Promos. Okay, those are there. Uh, Mothman, promo, donation, and then I believe these are, these are Terra, 18 Terra, yep. 18 Terra there, so very nice. So, yeah, all the cards for the base set are here, so feel free to deck build to your desire. Um, this is still an error, so this distraction is an errata, so look into distractions rules. But basically, distraction is a counter versus powers, so just keep that in mind. Um, water, light, yep. Just double checking all the cards. Earth again. Yeah, we're good. Oop. <laughs> Let me just shift tab that. Very nice. All right. So, yeah, that's the workshop map uh, in a nutshell. And again, um, oh, last little bit here. How do we act, how do we play in the map? You want to want to play? Let's take a deck here. So basically, just pull up a deck. Um, I'm gonna move it over here. Oops. Higher deck over here. All right. And I'm over here. All right, so I got a deck here. I just moved it around. It's just still locked in. That's fine. And we're just gonna kind of like play around with it. So again, um, if you've played the tutorial, this should be familiar to you. If you haven't, uh, first time seeing it, that's fine. But basically, uh, I have a deck here. I can press F to flip it over. F to, fl to flip it back. I can press R to shuffle it. So pressing the R. Uh, button on my keyboard to shuffle it, which is fine. Okay, and um, if you want to draw some cards, let's say I want to draw seven cards as my starting hand, I press seven on this to draw seven cards. Okay, and um, play a card, I just take it out of my hand here. Now, these cards in your hand, uh, these six cards here now, the opponent cannot see them. That's good. Um, so, only you can see these cards. Which is nice. Now I can uh, press E to rotate rotate this card around. I can press uh, Q to rotate it back. That's good. So you know, uh, fatigue it and then awaken it. You know, but it's pressing Q and E. And uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, one more big tip I will say is that this ninety 
degrees thing. So if you click this uh, number here, it will change the rotation degrees of your cards. So at 15, the cards will rotate by 15. We don't want that for card games, so let's make it 90 degrees. Now we got perfect flips for uh, fatiguing and awakening. So yeah, that's basically how you play on TTS the decks. Now when you're done with the game, you just um, you got all these cards lying around now. For instance, you would just pile them together by doing this, collect them all, and just uh, take them around a little bit. That <laughs> just move it around, uh, and then just uh, put them in the deck, flip it, shuffle again. You're done. You know, again. Pretty easy. How to use how to use this map? Oh, one more thing. How do we save decks we've made? That's something that people will probably ask. So, how do we save decks we've made? Let's say you've made a deck. Let's just say I've made this deck here. I don't know why not. Um, so I've made this deck here. How do we save it? What you do is you select the deck. So you just uh, drag it. You know, you click the left mouse, you drag it, and you go to objects, save the objects, and you just save the object basically. Um, so that's good. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so that's how you find the saved object. What you do is you select, left click, select it, right click it, and then go to save object. It'll ask for a name. Um, it's called Ice Alpha Iceman Deck Example. Done. So now we go to objects here. We go to saved objects, and we'll see this um, that we've made. So the best part about this is once you've saved an object by uh, right clicking and clicking save object you can go to any um you can go to any metazoo tts game and just import in the deck you've made so you don't have to remake them that's very good so if someone else you know let's say your friend made another uh tts server you don't have to make a new a new deck you just bring in a deck you've made on your own private server by yourself that's nice and then um, the game will autosave occasionally. You know, I have autosaves one and three here. So you could come back to a game you haven't already finished it, and it should be fine. So, yeah, that's how you use TTS for MetaZoo in a nutshell. Again, th thank you to Tiresome Line for making this. This is an amazing app, uh, amazing workshop map. So, I appreciate that, that he made it for everyone to use and play. And if you have any questions, just leave it in the YouTube comments or shoot me a DM. Happy to answer them. But yeah, just play around with the TTS, play around with this, um, and hopefully we can get some online tournaments going on soon while people have not gotten the cards yet. So, nice. Thanks.